So yeah. I actually didn't realize that it cut to gameplay. That's how like how seamless that was. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't. You're just like standing there. We're like, man, this demo is taking a long time to start. Uh, Connor, do something. So this is one of our uh, playable characters in uh, Detroit Become Human. I shouldn't say one of our characters, like I made the game. <laughs> yeah, no, right. <laughs> let's, let's be clear, I am not with Quantic Dream. There's uh, three of them, right? Total, right? Three playable Yeah, characters. there's yeah three characters. We just got introduced to Marcus, Marcus the uh, yeah. Android revolutionary. That was last he's, night. He's, at, uh, he's, and he's played girl. by Jesse Williams, correct? Or he I looks exactly like Jesse I don't know. <laughs> I, think, it, I think that's the case. It's either the doppelganger <laughs> I know, or right? played by. <laughs> I'm not oh, sure. But uh, this is kind of the hostage that. negotiation <laughs> scene that we Yeah, you might have seen this when the game was originally revealed, and now we actually get a chance to play it and see some of the different ways that the situation can pan out. Well, already I'm thinking this is a very luxurious apartment. I love uh, the way the, the uh, objective just kind of appeared on the window like yeah, that. Yeah, no, that was really, really cool. nice. I mean, uh, Quantic Dream are kind of masters of UI, and they're, yeah. they, they like to keep the presentation really slick. Yeah, they do a good, a good job implementing the environment into the way that they use their user interface. Yeah, absolutely. Really well. yeah. Absolutely. All right, so someone's just, oh, all right. Oh, it's fine. To Captain Allen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Denied. <laughs> it's like, uh, sir, you have to talk to the captain. All right, so what do we got over here? This is very official. Captain Allen, my name is I, Connor. I don't think I, any of us can hear what? what's being said. <laughs> yeah. So Justin, I sure hope you I'm, know what choices. I'm, I'm to trying make. to imagine what they're saying right now. Shot down two uh, well, they look really serious. It's an intense <laughs> environment. Things seem to be going well so far. Right. I don't know she if falls. that's true because there is still a hostage situation. Yeah. Let's see, so uh, let's ask for the deviant's, deviant's name. name. Do you know name. its name? I haven't got a clue. Oh, there we go. We can Doesn't hear it matter. a little bit better. I need information now. to determine the best approach. <laughs> hmm. Justin, I think this is going to have to be behaving strangely by instinct. Yeah. <laughs> this playthrough. Listen, every choice counts, man. Every <laughs> choice. It really does. So and I, I mean, that's one, this one this of the cool things Android about now. Detroit and also the other games of. that uh, the Quantic Dream does is right. that so much oh, of every is second controlled counts. by you, the player. Um, all through the story, I mean, especially in previous games like Heavy Rain, right. characters have... can live or die yeah. depending on what you do. So. Yeah, everything has ramifications, consequences. Uh, some, this... some things will make the game easier if yeah, you do, totally. do it the correct way, too. So, This? This, oh god, I love their UI. So good. So good. I just want to see it all the time. I wonder how much time they spend actually like making the animations for just like the subtle things. Tiny little stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's that's one of the great things about game design is it's you know it's a giant orchestra of tiny details, right? right. Yeah. And it's just all these little things that you have to do. Justin is just trying to reconstruct calculations. I do not know. I'm so glad I'm not playing because I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> oh, here we go. There's some other okay. stuff over here. You're collecting data. This looks important. Data. Oh, Analyzing okay. the ammunition. So we're going to reconstruct, reconstruct what happened here. Oh. Oh, and you use the uh, L2 and R2. Oh, to that's kinda, cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Scrub through. Oh, OK. So he's kind of like getting an idea of where. Yeah, I see. That's cool. Oh. Nice. If only he had that special little, those special glasses that I got, the guy from Heavy Rain, the detective from Heavy Rain had. Make this way easier for him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he has those glasses built into his face. Yeah, that's, yeah. Because this is, uh, yeah. So as we gather more data, you'll see the probability of success is rising. <laughs> like somebody had a entertaining party <laughs> yeah, this, this is when the party goes too far, and uh, and real emotions are running high. Hmm, something bad happened here. Oh, oh, oh God. okay. Well, I maybe shouldn't have made light of this because this is this got really serious. Yeah. So, for all you watching at home, Quantic Dream does not mess around. Right. These are yeah. these are very serious games for you know with adult subject matter. So, right, yeah. uh, definitely not those uh, for with a queasy stomach. Yeah, but I, and that's what I really like about Quantic Dream. You know, they, they don't pull any punches. Yeah, no, uh, they, they definitely go there. Right, right. Yeah, totally. And it, it just makes it feel more organic. It makes it feel more real. And it makes every, everything feel just a little bit more intense. It makes you really reconsider every choice that you make. Because you're like, oh, man, this character that I really love could be a character that's on the ground lifeless <laughs> if I don't do this right. Yeah, and that was, that was a really chilling... Yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's really crazy. Being able, this is kind of like the ultimate detective game, right? right. Especially yeah. when you're playing as this character. It's Connor, right? Am I Connor, remembering yeah. the name of this character correctly? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Justin says I'm right. 
Malik oh, says I'm right, yeah, so I must be right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Justin, Ooh, what do you unlocked. think so far? You seem like, for someone that's never touched this game, you're getting <laughs> along just fine. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm figuring it out. Uh, yeah, it seems pretty intuitive. Uh, I really like the whole uh, crime scene reconstruction mechanic that we're dealing with here. There we but go, of probability course, this higher. this is just one of the characters that you're playing in Detroit, which means, you know, you're going to get different story and different gameplay elements depending on the other characters. Like right. the Marcus demo from last night. That was I mean, so Let's talk cool. about that. That was super cool yeah. and very different. This is much more methodical and calculated. Yeah. The Marcus stuff, while it has some of those elements that seem like there was a lot of action, a lot of intensity. Right. Um, you know, he's an android revolutionary. So right. He's uh, actually on the other side. He's more of an activist, you know? Yeah, exactly. Which I found to be very interesting because the character you know, looks like Jesse Williams, who is an activist. You know, so, but it was cool because he, you know, he had the choice to be violent or to be more peaceful right. with uh, all the the robots that you had teaming up with you. So yeah, that was that was really cool. And the, uh, let's talk about the other character too. We yeah, can't forget please. about Kara. Yeah, absolutely. So she kind of kicked this whole thing off. Yeah, with yeah. the you know kind of the original uh, proof of concept and tech demo, yeah. the Kara trailer. So. That, that feels like years ago. I don't even I remember know. when that, that trailer came out. I just remember out. everybody was losing their minds, like, this has to become I, a game. Oh, I know, totally. <laughs> and and that's kind of how Quantic Dream does it, right? Like, you know, David Cage and his team, they want to try a proof of concept and see what, you know, the reaction is and see where they can go with the story. But yeah. then she kind of made her grand re-debut uh, in the Detroit Become Human announcement trailer, I think. Right. And that's yeah. where we got to see a lot of the setting about how this is a, you know, near future Detroit. There's been an Android boom, and uh, now you know there's just so much more at stake because there's sort of like this uprising of AI. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Ah. All right. Cool. Hey, let's turn on some subtitles. Yeah. I feel okay. like there's a yeah, lot of good talking call, good happening, call. Yeah. And, and I feel like I'm missing out. There we go. Boom. There we go. I think I got it. It's almost as if we should have done that at the beginning. <laughs> yeah, I was like, well, what's a way to mitigate like us not understanding what's going on with the, all the excitement, the E3 excitement around us? <laughs> yeah, now this looks very important. I wish I had an iPad on. like that. You can see right through it. Cool. Swipe the touchpad to oh, okay, interact, so Justin. I'll That's do cool. One of these. Nice. It's just gonna make me depressed. <laughs> It's like, what, what a way to kick off E3 2017 with a crime scene investigation. <laughs> I mean, I don't think this is meant to be an especially happy game. No, it, I mean, as we said, Quantic Dream doesn't mess around. Right, but, got some more yeah, Malik, like what we were, we were saying, you know, that announcement trailer showed what was at stake. Yeah. Showed some of the very, you know, very relevant uh, conversations that this game is having in right. the community, which is sort of like, what is the meaning of AI? What, yeah. How does that AI fit in with the larger picture of right. you know, humanity and its interaction with AI? Indeed, so indeed. these are the big questions that I could not possibly answer by myself. Right, well, and, and it's kind of cool too, because it's also a contrast on just humanity, you know, uh, because the AI is kind of like, well, why is humanity the way humanity is? It looks like something just happened there. All right. Oh, no. So this Rated was a first sure. responder, huh? Oof. More gory details. So Justin is uh, assessing that data. clues. Very nice, very nice. OK. Now he's reconstructing the scene. Let's see what happened. Oh. oh, man. There it is. That's brutal. I've shot the Deviant. OK. OK. All right. What's over here? Hostage witness. Oh, the oh. OK, we're starting to understand how this all went down. Oh, yeah. There's something over there. Weapon located. OK. Justin, you were saying also that your percentage of success was changing. I didn't see yeah, that. Oh, the, it's right there. Oh, there right, it is. Yeah, the All right, dude. Well, you got 58%. You yeah, wanna, step it up, man. You want to just try <laughs> and uh, you, you should just jump out onto the balcony and just go for it at like, 58. No. <laughs> no, we still got a little time. That's a cool statue. Yeah. yeah that is really nice. Maybe not relevant to the case, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
Still looking, still I looking. I think there was something Justin, in the I'm hostages getting, Like, I'm getting stressed out, man. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I, it's sorry, I'm Do trying we need to... to like go outside? Because <laughs> I know what's going to happen when I go outside. I don't, I'm just trying to prolong it. I don't want to go outside. Well, what's really cool about scenes like this, when you're investigating, you're also kind of taking in the environment. Yeah. And you see how much detail they put into these games and into these environments into these apartments you know yeah that's i mean that, again it's like another specialty aquatic dream yeah. right is that it's all those attention to detail yeah, and it man. makes their games feel more real and that's one of the things that they're trying to do is make this feel like real characters real people real stories okay i mean I these think are I'm stories gonna... that could very well be happening you know right 20 30 50 years from now right so right. it's it's just it's wild to think about i think justin is contemplating when contemplating. he wants to walk out want to go out now to the balcony oh. There we go. Uh, Analyze a little more. Ew. Fresh, Fresh blue blood. blood. Android wounded. Uh-oh. Good to know. Medium oh, he can model. tell what model it is based oh, on wow. the taste yeah. of its blood. This dude is such a badass. I Hard love horror. it. Wait, did your percentage just go down, Justin? It did it? It was 56, just, wasn't it? Oh, no. I think you should just go outside. Okay, let's go for it. Whoa, oh. oh, no. <laughs> What the fuck are you doing? Not for children. <laughs> oh, go for it, Justin. Uh, this is it. All right, here we go. We can do this. Nice. All right, let's easy. do this. I need your support, guys. Oh, no. Stay back. Okay, found him. <laughs> Don't come any closer or I'll jump. No, no, please. I'm you. All right, take it easy. Take it easy. I'm so stressed. Hi, Daniel. Uh, my name is Connor. How All right. I know a lot of things about you. I've come to get you out of this. Oh, oh no. Dear. Oh, dear. Helicopter, no. <laughs> Go away. Helicopter. helicopter, you're ruining everything. <laughs> oh, I hey, can Spider Man, move. get the helicopter out of here. <laughs> <laughs> empathize. Empathize. I reassured. Oh, we can look at him. Oh, look at the LED on the side of his head. It's pulsing red. That's yeah. probably not yeah. good. I'm assuming that means anger, maybe? Probably. I'm assuming it means it's up to no good. <laughs> You're right. I know you and Emma were very close. You think she betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. Oh, man, there's another body in the... Oh, my oh, God. My I can't take this, Justin. There's too much drama in this scene. Get that, Listen. yep. Okay. All right, all right. It's not your fault. Okay. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. Please. Oh, he's stabilizing. Please. I never wanted this. I love them. You know? But I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. Oh, no. This is not looking good, guys. <laughs> I'm getting stressed. I'm actually real. He's My bombs are sweaty right now. <laughs> he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What oh, does it come matter on. if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. Oh, no. Oh, you my God. I'm not alive. Ooh. Cold-blooded. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's <laughs> going to destabilize. Justin, oh, I can't take this. What uh, if I need backup? Uh, easy. Are you okay, Emma? Please help me. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, man, this is so intense. Nobody's going yeah, to die. Yeah, I think, uh, especially when you have kids, the, uh, seeing kids in danger is, uh, it, it's a little harder to watch. This would normally just be like, a, whoa, this is so crazy. Right, right. But I'm all, I'm like all jittery now from watching yeah. this. Get out of here. All right, all right. All right. Good, ju good call, Justin. I think that's a good, good call. call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good call. All right, all right, all right. We're going up. <laughs> all right, did we want it? <laughs> We're going up. <laughs> the percentage <laughs> is increasing. You have to trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. Okay, that's good. Yep, we're going up. Everyone to leave. Uh, and I want a car. All right. When I'm outside the city, I'll Why, let they want to, yep, let her go. Uh, I don't know. I would say compromise. That's impossible, Daniel. 
Let the girl go, and I promise oh, it's yellow now. Okay. All right. He stabilizes. That's good. Die. Yep. Hmm. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Yeah. Nice. nice. Oh. Okay. I'm feeling so much better yeah. about this. I think I think we're gonna save her. Please, please, please. Let's let the I little kid you. go. All, All right. right. I trust you. All right. All right. Good. He let her go. Go over there. All right. Good. good. Okay. Oh. oh! No, why would you do that, Sniper Man? Oh, man! We we had this under control. <laughs> Good Lord. Ah. We saved the hostage, though. We no, saved I the know. hostage, I'm, yeah. I'm thrilled about that. Yeah. I just wanted everybody to walk away from this totally fine. Hey, it was reassure or truth, and he did reassure. He didn't yes. say truth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yikes. <laughs> Sorry, Daniel. Well, anyway, Quantic Dream, thanks for killing my mood this morning. <laughs> <laughs> nice uplifting start to E3. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to E3 2017. Hey, where, this game uh, is beautiful. Mission this, successful. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, totally. Oh, the robot man is still, the Deviant is still active, it looks like. Huh. All right, well. Justin, you're a hero. Justin. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>